Okay, next question is, this person said, I am interested in cyber security as a career. What college or major would you recommend for me to take? Um, I know that there are many, I, do, I know that there are many uh, universities that are offering that cyber security and it's, it's pretty good profession. So, but I cannot really, I cannot really tell you right now. Um, I cannot really tell you right now the one that you have to that you need to attend because I have not compared. Uh, I have not officially compared what each of these schools offer in terms of uh, the cyber security program. So that's what I can say. So I don't have a recommendation now because I have not compared any of the colleges that offer cyber security. I believe. Um, University of Maryland offers that, and I don't know, I don't know other universities that uh, I can compare that to as we speak. Okay, um, this person said, my other classes get Zoom Prime. This makes online learning more difficult. Um, I don't know why they are getting it there and I'm not getting it here, but I know how to uh, prevent some things from happening. For example, it's easier for me to remove a student if I if I if, if the person gets annoying. I don't know, honestly. This person says, if you were not a teacher, what other careers would you choose? I, I think I've answered this already. I had I had some careers before, before I got to classroom. In the United States, I worked in IT. In Maryland, in particular, I spent six years working in IT before I got back to teaching. That's just for Maryland. <laughs> this person says, are you dating anyone? <laughs> uh, the answer is, I'm a family man. I'm a family man. I'm a family man. That's the answer to that one. Let me, put, let me leave it at that. Uh, the, this person says, what do you like about uh, your job? Uh, one thing I like my job, which is actually one of the reasons why I'm in it, is apart from I feel happy. Let me put it this way. I feel happy if somebody gets a knowledge from me, a knowledge that is going to help them in progressing in their life. The reason is because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, in 30 years' time, whatever age you are right now, in 30 years' time and even more, you will still be remembering me. You will still remember that there is one mathematics teacher you had. You may not remember my name if you have some kind of um, uh, medical issue mentally, but you remember that there's a, a particular math teacher that taught you a particular math subject. You remember it even in 30 years time, you will, because I do remember my mathematics teachers way, 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 way back, you see? And I know it is partly because of them that I'm here, all right? Next thing I like my job, I have said this before, if you are a teacher, there are benefits attached to it. There are many benefits attached to it, which are not available in many other jobs. And that, to me, that's a, a, um, an attraction. That's an attraction. And you have, a guaranteed, you have a guaranteed income that is unshakable, guaranteed, all right? For example, the period of COVID-19 was a typical example. You know, during the COVID-19, you see many, many, uh, Many people lost their job, unfortunately, but teachers did not lose theirs. Teachers are on contract. You know what is a contract? A contract means regardless of what is happening, you are getting get money. So that's guaranteed income. And these contracts are renewed every year unless you want to quit the job or unless you are performing so badly that they want to get rid of you. All right. So that guaranteed income is more or less, it helps to, I mean, it gives me some kind of peace of mind. Is it much? Maybe not as much. Is it, is it, can, it, can it be better? Absolutely. You know, there's a reason why some people are in the teaching profession for 30 years, 40 years, 35 years. There's a reason. You know, they are, they are not stupid. Okay? So, and uh, all these folks, they can do other things. Most, most people. Okay, I, I, maybe you have exhausted the question. And uh, we just barely have, this is 9.45. We just have about 10 more minutes. So let's just finish the day with questions, if you have more. So we call it, today is just basically a social day or community day. It's called community day. So we just converted this today to be community day, but that's fine. Okay. 
this one is a hypothetical question. If you were in another life, what would that be? Another life? <laughs> well, in my, if there is another life, if there's another life, I'll come back as an Igbo person and I will still come back from the very community where I was born that I grew up, if there is. So I'm not teaching you anything. I'm not teaching you. I'm just answering that question. So I don't know if there is. I don't know if there is none. So that's why I put the if statement. All right. So if there is another life, I will come back as an Igbo person and I will come back as from exactly where I was born. I will not pick any other place. I will come back to that place. So I don't know if that is. So now this one says, how are you spending your Thanksgiving break with family members and friends? Of course, that is COVID-19. So uh, that means there will be a little more precaution than, 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 the case, than uh, we used to. This person says, do you believe in paranormal? Uh, is it paranormal or paranoia? I don't know. I don't understand this question, honestly. Do you believe in paranormal? I don't understand the question, honestly, so I can't answer it. So now, next question, this one, it says, what other favorite African country? Um, I did not spend so much time in many other African countries for me to make this uh, a decision on my favorite. I, I did not spend so much time on other African countries, but I did learn some things about other African countries. I did but I did not spend so much time on many of them. So I cannot really tell you, okay, apart from Nigeria, this is my uh, next other favorite African country. I cannot tell that with, um, with facts because I did not spend much time, you know, in many of these other places. Some that I visited, I just spent about probably a day or two. So that's not enough. Uh, this person says, um, it looks like uh, the paranormal means the ghost. Okay, if the person is referring to, do I believe in ghosts? Uh, I will answer that with respect to Igbo culture. In Igbo culture, there is, uh, the Igbo culture actually recognizes that there is ghosts. That's Igbo culture, Igbo generally. So, and if you are born in, if you are born in uh, a certain culture, you will, you are being oriented, you get an orientation from that culture and tradition and you will, um, you will start believing whatever they are teaching you, all right? So the Igbo culture believes that there is God. That's the culture. I'm not teaching you anything. I'm just saying this is what this culture believes in. So the Igbo culture believes that there is God. So the Igbo culture also believes that, there is the, that God is invincible. You don't see it, but it is there. So the Igbo culture also believes in the existence of other entities like ghosts, okay? So... So if that is the case, I will say yes. This person said, do you have Twitter? Um, I do. I do have Twitter. I'm on social media. Of course, you know I'm on YouTube too. However, however, I do not interact with students on social media. I don't. Okay? For example, you come to my YouTube channel. You go there. You are going there to learn math. Do not come to my YouTube channel to, to chat with me. All right, you come in there to learn the mathematics that I, I post there. There is no private conversation. If you want to hold private conversation with me, use your PGCPS email and send me an email. Then I know that whatever you are talking about is official. Then I will reply you in official capacity. All right, so I'm on social media. 